Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna check out the best DSLR camera for beginners in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and many more. To find out more information about these DSLR camera for beginners you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality DSLR camera for beginners according to your needs, then watch the video till the end and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Canon EOS Rebel 6E DSLR camera. The Canon EOS Rebel 6E easily ranks as one of the best DSLR cameras for beginners, offering great image quality with its FC size image sensor with 24.2 megapixels of resolution. It has a good burst mode of 5 frames per second, and its 19-point autofocus system is very accurate and works fast. If you use the optical viewfinder with its 6E, you will receive extremely fast performance in all shooting situations, even when you aren't working in burst mode. The viewfinder on this camera allows you to easily frame the scene, even if you're working in bright sunlight where glare on the display screen can make it difficult to see clearly. This camera has plenty of nice features aimed at inexperienced photographers too, including fully automatic shooting modes. The 3-inch display screen offers both the ability to swivel and twist away from the camera, as well as touch capabilities. Having a touchscreen on an entry-level DSLR is a great feature to make it easy to use. This camera has a shutter speed of up to 5 seconds of continuous shooting. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Nikon D3300 DSLR camera. One of Nikon's best starter DSLR cameras is the Nikon D3300. It provides strong image quality, even in low-light shooting conditions, and, like most DSLR cameras, it works very fast when you're using the viewfinder to frame the scene. It offers 24.2 megapixels of resolution with the FC size image sensor. However, if you want wireless connectivity, you'll have to purchase an adapter separately. For a slightly more expensive Nikon, take a look at the Nikon D3500. The number 3 position is held by Nikon D5200 DSLR camera. Nikon's D5200 DSLR camera is a little older than some of the models on this list, so its price has dropped to the point where it's a good candidate for an inexperienced photographer looking for a solid starter camera. One of the biggest advantages of the Nikon D5200 is its 39-point autofocus system, which is very impressive for camera in its price range. However, there is no touchscreen LCD or Wi-Fi connectivity with the D5200. Next, at number 4, we have Canon EOS Rebel Sloan DSLR. If you hesitate to purchase a DSLR as a starter camera because of its large size, you may want to consider the Canon EOS Rebel Sloan, which is the smallest and lightest DSLR on the market. Despite its small size, it maintains good image quality at 18.0 megapixels of resolution. It'd be nice if the Sloan was a little bit of a faster performer, but it's a good camera with strong features for beginners, including a touchscreen display and built-in Wi-Fi connectivity. The number 5 position is held by Nikon D3500. If you never used a camera before, using the D3500 from Nikon is the perfect option as the entire design gets you up and running right away. With an intelligent fully automatic mode, wide-ranging scene mode and numerous effects you can choose from, the Nikon DSLR D3500 provides everything you need to get started. A high-performance 24.2 sensor and processor, as well as a large ISO range and high-resolution LCD screen shows off the camera's quality to take stunning point and shoot pictures that will look better than a cell phone camera. While the LCD isn't a touch screen, the overall package makes this Nikon DSLR worth looking at. The number 6 position is dominated by Canon Rebel SL3, the first entry-level DSLR to feature movie capture at fourth resolution. The Canon Rebel SL3 from Canon uses the dual-power CMOS autofocus system and helps the camera perform very well when you are tracking the action in a video you're shooting. Not one to be on our list for the only video, the 250 provides a beginner-friendly interface as well as a creative assist mode that works perfectly with the fully articulated touchscreen. The Canon Rebel SL3 is one of the most compact and likely DSLRs on the market and can grow with you as you become more experienced. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Panasonic Lumix DMC Zone 100. When you look at the Zone 100 from Panasonic, don't look at its small size as a negative as the camera has some big features and specifications within its shell. 
With a sensor that's large for a compact camera, the Zone 100 contains a 20.1 MP 1.0 type sensor while providing relatively noise-free image quality even when the ISO settings are high. The camera even has an electric viewfinder as well as a high-res 3-inch rear screen fit into its small body. Able to shoot 4K for both video and stills, while having a frame rate of up to 3rd and a burst rate of 10th for full resolution stills. The Zone 100 from Panasonic is, in our opinion, a DSLR camera in a compact camera's body making it a great option if you don't want to carry a bulky camera around all day. The number 8 position is held by Sony HX400. Like many other bridge cameras, the lens on the HX400 from Sony is fixed but comes with a DSLR-like body. This design makes sense as the zoom range of 25-500 would be hard for any other body style to handle. With a maximum burst rate of tenths, the camera is not lacking in terms of speed. The 20.4 megapixels and 3.0 inch tilting screen with a high resolution of 922 x around the 1-2-3 type sensor which is quite small for this type of camera. The display is not a touchscreen however but if you're looking for a camera that has the feel of a DSLR before splurging on one. The HX400 from Sony is a good starting point. Next at number 9 we have Olympus Stylus Tough TG5. Not every camera that you may own will be able to stand up to the environment that you take it into. For those moments, the TG5 from Olympus makes a great option. Able to withstand being submerged in water up to 45 feet, drop from 6 feet or frozen to 14 degrees Fahrenheit, it can stand up to a lot of punishment. A great camera for outdoor activities, the burst rate of 20 and the ability to capture video in 4 good resolution make the camera stand out for active shooting in numerous and varied environments. A Forks optical zoom and built-in macro and microscopic modes just add to the camera's versatility. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Sony 6000. While the Sony Next series departed from the company's mirrorless cameras lineup, it paved the way for the Sony 6000. Coming with a similar feature set as the Sony Next 6, Sony did a good job on this model by adding a few remarkable features. The feature that stands out in the Sony 6000 is its hybrid autofocus system for added precision and quicker response when shooting fast-moving subjects. With the Sony 6000, you can capture the most fleeting of moments with its 11th continuous shooting. That's all for today. We upload camera and camera accessories review videos every single day. So. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.